Good morning. Good morning. This Mass is being streamed live, and for those who are joining us from home, welcome. We're glad you could be with us this morning. This Mass is being offered up for Jerry Langle. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, I'd like to invite you to think on someone from your family members who is asking for your prayers. Just put him or her in your prayers for this special Mass as we are preparing to celebrate Christmas. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, and to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done and what I have failed to do, to do. through my, my fault, fault, through my fault, fault through my most fault, grievous fault. Therefore, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Come quickly, we pray, Lord Jesus, and do not delay that those who trust in your compassion may find solace and relief in your coming, who lives and reigns with you for the Father and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, and do what you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, should you, build a house to, should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went. I have destroyed all your enemies before you, and I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old, since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give you rest from your enemies, the Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you, and when your time comes and, you're, and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make, him, I'll make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me, your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. The response will be, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever I will confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, you are my father, my God, my rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing the kindness of the Lord. Your blessing, Father. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Amen. 
Alleluia, alleluia. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light, son of justice, come and shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Zechariah, his father, filled with the Holy Spirit, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading, we hear David, he had a plan to build the temple of God. And Nathan also supported what he had planned. But when he was at night sleeping, God also responded to David, showing that, no, I'm not going to do that. David, he planned, but God also, he had his own plan. What God has planned for a long time, for more than 700 years, he had come to accomplish through our mother Mary for the born of the son Jesus. God's always, always faithful for what he has entrusted to us. Whatever he says always, he fulfills according to his time and according to his will. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we come to see that in each step what God is taking is always has something to learn in our journey of lives. Today we hear in the gospel that we have to be thankful for the gift God has given us to bring the Son Jesus to come into the world, to come and be among us, to bring peace to all the people. This is the good news, the good news for all of us. And it's not the message for an individual, but it's the message for all of us. Let us ask ourselves, since we began this preparation for the Advent, what kind of preparation did we prepare to welcome the coming of the Son, Jesus? Do we really ready to say, welcome, Emmanuel, into my heart. Do we really ready to say, welcome, Jesus, to transform my lives? We have to continue to thank Joseph and Mary for their trust and for their service and for their perseverance and endurance. My ways are not your ways and my thoughts are not your thoughts. As we are ready to celebrate Christmas, let us remember that God is coming to our lives and he wants to stay with us, to be among us. That means God, Emmanuel, is within you and your family and for the whole world. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of life and for the gift of peace. And for this, we pray. We pray for brothers and sisters, and especially for those who have asked us to pray for 
as they journey together for this kind of preparation. And for this, we pray. We pray for our country. We pray for peace and justice and unity so that you may continue always to recognize that you are always the source of our lives. And for this, we pray. We pray for the whole world as we are preparing ourselves for the exercise of the vaccine. Give us courage always to see that you are always giving us your helping hand. And for this, we pray. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will come our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand, and the praise of the Lord in his name, for our good and all to the church. Graciously make your own, O Lord, the offerings which we bring, that partaking of them we be cleansed of our sins, and merit to stand ready with pure hearts, for the coming in the glory of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift up Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, your Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the virgin mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with the thrones and the dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are clay. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are Blessed the sea who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Mm -hmm. 
In this similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mary our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom power, power, and power, 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 power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. 
and only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. A reminder, when you come up to the communion table, please have the mask covering your nose and mouth. Cup your hands. The host will be placed in your hands. Step to the side, lower the mask, consume the host, raise the mask, and then return to your seat, please. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Christ. Mm. The body of Christ. Mm. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. Let us pray. Grant to us who find a new vigor, O Lord, in this your wondrous gifts, that as we prepare to celebrate in our adoration the festivities of your son's nativity, so we may possess in gladness his everlasting rewards who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Jim, I would like to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching live stream mass also, I say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And I want to wish you Merry Christmas, all of you. And don't forget, the message of Christ always is all about peace and love. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.